This card is insane. Man, normally I would have to pay six or five mana. Hello everyone, it's Slow here and today I'm super excited to share this deck with you with Vanquish, the Horde card that I wanted to use since forever. Man, this card is insane right now in the current meta because against Boros it's basically a 2 mana sweeper which lets you go with other stuff. And the fun interaction, alright? You want to play Sunset River anyway, right? Because it gives you so much resilience against aggro decks and this creates tokens. So even if your opponent has 2 or 3 creatures, you will help them, you will play reverse, you will play farm hands, uh, and that means there's full board probably, and this is two or three mana so often while clearing all the board, enabling you extra plays, especially with like March and No More Lies, there are super cheap cards that can negate the full turn for your opponent very often. So I'm really excited to showcase this deck. So yeah, have fun guys and enjoy. Right, we are going first, no pain lands, a lot of tap lands, but also a lot of styling tactics, so I think this could be very cool you perfect perfect i dreamed of this land exactly all right i'm excited i want some cool juicy aggro deck thank you go go aggro i want to smork yeah all right let's get rid of the tap lands it will help and while our opponent is thinking oh i will just play red mountain i will get well he needs uh, the frontliner so he needs frontliner into mountain to bleep Gleeful Demolition. Is that just humans? It feels like humans a little bit. Alright, so I'm at 19. Rever is so good here, man. It's not even close. And could I draw a, la uh, a card? I don't think so. I don't know. Whatever. Man, they will go. Look at this. Two mana sweeper. <laughs> Do you see this? Oh, it's glorious. Absolutely glorious. Alright, uh, Knight of Chaos, of course, extremely not what we want to see. Can I play Jace? I will try. Because I have a sweeper already. So if I tap this, they will use Knight of Chaos, right? For them. I just need to protect it. And the point is, they will probably play more creatures, so I can lose some creatures and... Man, it looks perfect! Two mana sweeper! Man, my dreams come true. And I really want the Jace because... Okay. Alright, let's see if you kill Jace or... Wow! Man, that's some Jace respect right there. And I think we'll try to respect it as well, right? Because we can protect Jace. And we will. Man, they use their main play to try to remove some loyalty from Jace. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty serious. Haha. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's see, they might have another recruiter, but this is not a given. And if they just play kind stuff like this, we have so much time, man. We have so much time. Main phase. Are you serious? Well, this is probably how we lost. Man, I need a land. Are you serious right now? Right, Jace survives until they play a, play a haster, but that means we cannot farewell on the next turn, which was the plan. Alright, of course they, man. So I'm getting mana screwed and he has way above, uh, above draw. Well, I, I think it will be harder. So we are playing extremely, you know, the hard mode. And they cannot count the damage because... You know, plus one to three is three for mono red player because there are still mono red players. Anyway, so what do we do? What do we do? They don't have the third recruiter, nearly for sure. Do we go Archavios for something? No, it's it's farmhand into union, and I think we keep the union as a. You know, 
as a thing for future. Let's take the pranks. It's super tempting to play Trace, but we are not doing it. Man, I like <laughs> that. Oh, I had such a perfect plan. I have such a perfect plan, but the shuffler interrupted again. Do you have third recruiter? Your only card that matters in the deck, sure. You know what? I think I will play a little bit differently. I... Okay, so... I will do it. This is normally a mistake. But I want him to know, because then I hope he goes wider, because he sees that I have way more life than he expected. That means he is way more pressure than he expected. And I hope they will play main phase like those two one drops or something. Because the, uh, maybe they won't. Sure. I, oh, they are not doing it. That's a shame. Is that the third recruiter? How do you think, guys? <laughs> Is that the third recruiter? I think I can tank this one full swing, right? I could also... Because they, look how much fuel they have. Those four cards. It's this. And it's this. If not double Knight of Eos, they would be at zero. I farewell, I win the game. And that's why Knight of Eos so in, is so insane. So I, if I go Invasion, he knows about the Sweeper for the next turn, which we don't want to. So that means we have to play either Memory of the Rouge. Memory of the Rouge is okay. And then we try to go for a while and we try not to die. Alright, we have one blocker. He has a lot of damage, don't forget this amplifies everything. So this will be like between 10 and 15 damage easily. Even with the block. But I think we can tank it. Extremely good for them. One card that doesn't add to the board and amplifies all the damage by like crazy. So well, yeah, this will be fun. This will be fun. So this is 7, 10, 13. Well, we were kind of right about it. And it will be more. They know that uh, they have this, right? Oh, they've seen Vanquish the Horde, right? Maybe they don't want to go so wide. Because they play a bit more conservatively than I expected them to. Uh, but maybe that's the reason. Can I Vanquish the Horde? Thank you. Thank you, bro. And Trevor, right? Those are the cards we need. Alright. So, I mean, this is 3 mana. <laughs> and then I can have a lot of plays, man. And this is insanely good. So what do we do with the rest of the mana? So they will play uh, the Resolute Reinforcements, right? They will do it. So I think it's just Union, where we have a lot of cards. Man, this, this card is insane. Man, normally I would have to pay six or five mana. All right, I forgot about the token, but the token can actually be good for us, right? So we can go Union, or we can go Reverie and get all the value and block those. Well, not really block them. Okay, I think we keep up the Union. I think we keep up the Union. Mostly because uh, if I play Reverie, like, I, I don't have other plays. So, no. Sure. So that was second sweeper and the game is still in full swing, man. <laughs> We are actually on the verge of dying after two sweepers. Oh, what a, what a format to be in. Alright, I don't need to do it now. But I want to tap. More life gain. Hopefully will, you know, motivate our opponent to play all of his creatures. Because he's super, like, lowballing the board. Alright. Can you play all of them finally? So <laughs> that would... That would make things so much easier. Alright, the first one. He doesn't have white mana, so Resolute Reinforcements is not on the line to, right now. I could play Sunset Traveler, it's not very good he here. Unless I play it first, then it doesn't really accomplish anything. They will use the clue. 
but then we kind of have the empty board so i think this is the play first let's see the card man you need to rework for those wins definitely not the card for now I don't think we care about the Gravers, so we exile everything except the Gravers. They use the crew, they tap, and we start over again. And then we play Reverie, maybe Invasion of Archivist for the fourth sweeper. I, I, I just played the first sweeper of the game, right? Let me be sure, because it sounds ridiculous, but I think that's what happened. That's the first sweeper of the game, and they're still in this. Well, this is how aggro right now is. Not super surprised that it's like 95% of the whole meta. Like just keep playing creatures and they draw creatures and they draw creatures. And at some point you draw more creatures and then you outvalue the control deck. <laughs> we are still having higher value, we will probably win, but man, that's that's kinda insane when you think about it. A scry is good, but it's still one card. One good card, but one card. I don't think I can draw, so I think we go like this. Oh, we actually need to think about it, um, because I wanted to play Jace originally, but maybe we just go Memory Dorush, right? They don't have Mirex yet, it's not this stage of the game. And we can use Birds to block a little bit. Yeah, I think it's Memory Dorush on this turn. They don't really have amazing attacks. At some point, I would love my aggro opponent that can win on turn 2, if he has good draw. Do you know? Stop having cars in the head. <laughs> I think that's not unreasonable. So they will get those scries. Uh, but that means this turn they don't really attack. I think we still have one van Vanquish the Horde, right? And one for one. Oh, two of them. Two of them, that's even better. Guys, it is possible we might outvalue an aggro deck at some point. It's crazy. Right, negate. Negate probably not the best against them. I honestly think we are going for double Jace Wincon at this point. I like Celest. Celestus is so good, man. I like the life game. It will be hard to use, but I think we might manage to do it. And we are not using Mirex yet, so let's just get better mana. You kind of don't want to use those for mana. Uh, especially later in the game, so you probably want as much other colors as possible. Double J's, 37 cards. What do we have in Invasion of Archives? Let's check. Don't forget they have Recruiter. Uh, sideboard. So this kinda wins the game, but it's slow. 3, 5. Sunfall is nice, but it's a Sunfall. I don't want to take it. We can go for Dissipate for Recruiter. They don't have a counter spell. That's not bad, to be honest. It fits our Reverie as well. But man, White Sun's Twilight wins on the next turn, basically. I don't think they can kill us in one turn. Do your worst. I challenge you to kill me in one turn. I have 13 life, 4 bros <laughs> that will protect me. <laughs> and you need to deal all of this damage this turn because you know what happens and they can't. Alright, see? Sunfall overrated. <laughs> Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the end, we just needed 20 turns and we outvalued an aggro deck. Alright guys, this one is a little bit weird, but we'll try to make it work. I definitely need the third land, we don't have any reveries, so we cannot slow the game, and we have all the value cards, so we will see. And it seems our opponent is on this on the control side, which is kind of the same as the slow side, right? Alright, so this can be interesting. We will probably cycle unions. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. Oh, you like milling yourself, huh? Alright, alright. 
Man, he's quick at this. Man, this is the be the quickest opening, right? But he doesn't have enough cards in the graveyard yet. Man, like he's going quick. It's it's always funny to me because like those decks look great when they work, right? And every time I play against it, it works. <laughs> every single time, man. So, um, they have a removal for planeswalkers. They have what? This is not a permanent. It has to be permanent, right? Uh, number of permanents. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four. Only four. That's he still needs three more. So he needs to take one turn more, I think. So we will union. We will cycle one of the cards. I don't want to play Jace. I want to surprise them when they will mill. Well, I guess they have the combo right to win instantly. But we'll see. All right, they still need to pay the cost, so honestly, they didn't really gain anything out of the... Oh, right, they they have one extra mana. You know what? That's something. That's something, because if they play land, they can go for it. So they had four, this is the fifth one, and they can get two lands. Or two permanents, sorry. All right, they're at six. They didn't hit what they needed, really. So they can reanimate, but they don't have enough. Yeah, so they go for the next play. Sure, they still have a decision. Chapter 1. Alright, what... Well, that seemed like... I, I don't think they know how Read the Head works. <laughs> Alright, I don't know when. I don't know when. They could just go Chapter 2, and Chapter 3 would uh, cast the Emergence. And now we have a counter spell, which is kinda important. Uh, but we definitely need the second blue, so let's go like this. Now they need to pay the full cost on the reanimation spell. They will get another one, so it won't change this part. But we'll defend ourselves against the first one. So no, a, like really intense game so far. Yep. No more lights. He will still get the second one, right? Because he he was good at magic and he milled two of his key cards. The whole deck works only because of this card. There's no really other card that works. So if he hits multiples, he's uh, above average situation. However, we have farewell now because we play two for this reason. I mean, let's see. We open mana. They will do it again because the deck is super simple. You just keep playing it until you win or lose. <laughs> like there, there is no strategy here. The score strategy is just sequencing so you can you can play the cards. You know. All right. Let's see. I want to farewell everything they have, uh, especially that I have another farewell. Sure, you can get. This is not very good for them. They think it's good. But they still have one with the multiverse. This is worse, of course, because they will draw a lot of fuel for the next turns. But we can get rid of everything. And let's see what they take. Probably won't be a hard choice, right? But we'll try to force them into doing all this all over again. And every time they are closer and closer to, you know, not having enough cards. Let's go memory dish. It will be exiled, so we only get the, you know, the main version. Uh, honestly, normally it's it's horrible, horrible draw, but here you know what? It's actually not bad. And I hope we have time for a tap land. Well, what does it really do for us? I mean, nothing. But gives us blue mana. We probably need a lot of blue mana for double chase at some point. All right, not the matchup for it, but it might be useful. Listen. I heard you like stuff, and I like killing stuff, so we are a perfect match. Uh, the priority comes from here, maybe from something else, but probably not. Alright, can you please do it all over again? <laughs> Alright, he's doing it all over again. So he won't have attract mana on the next turn, he wants to draw something, and he needs to get all those permanents back, then get Skirmic Emergency. So he, we force him to basically redo the whole thing again. And it costs him a lot of cards. I don't have second Jays though, so it's a factor. It's definitely a factor. <laughs> easy. Oh my god, so easy. 
But what are you taking? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so when enters the battlefield, it mills cards. So I mean the Eternal Wonder isn't amazing here, right? Do we just go Memory Deluge? I kinda like it to be honest. Because it can set up a very nice place. And when he, he casts a Traxa or something, I can keep uh, plus one here. Yes. One damage acquired. Only five turns to go. So my win con is of course uh, drawing another Jace because they're already in the 30 cards range. We just need to prevent stuff and we need to get to 8 mana and uh, 4 blue because that's the win con to kill them in one turn. Memory Dush is huge here. I want lands, man. They don't matter. So, okay, okay, okay. I mean, to be fair, this could be useful, but we already have one, so I think we are just going double lands here. Nice draw. Not Jace, but close enough. Close enough. And honestly, so what do I play? 4 7. So, Memory Dush, right? The flashback version. Because they cannot kill us yet, really. Uh, if he has something super aggressive, maybe we Memory Dush for a negate. I don't think it was milled or anything. Yeah, I think it's close, but I think we're in a, in a decent spot. And Surveil give us, gives us, you know, one extra draw, basically. And that's the draw. This is what we need to win the game. That changes a little bit. So four and four. I will have this one. So I win on the next turn. That means I have to pass the turn. I don't want him to play any kind of weird combo that wins in one in one turn, you know? And I don't think they run counter spells. Like, you know, you can always put a counter spell, but generally this version doesn't do this ever. I've never seen version of it. Maybe once. All right, so guys, I think we're in a good spot. We just need to survive this one turn and I'm keeping all the mana up because he already has seen no more lies from me, right? So, you know, the pain already stacked it on, on our opponent's side and with such long tanking on the play and passing the turn, it really seems like there is a solid, solid reason <laughs> they still play it. But you know what, it's fine because they tapped, they did tap. Yep. Well, <laughs> those are the cards. Oh boy, you want to play them, don't you? Don't you? Uh, he will take a land. I hope it's a tap land, but probably won't. It's not. Oh, it's a tap land. That guarantees he has not even a single point of mana. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, do I need any more cards? Not really. Uh, so in this kind of situation, you know, just for the educational purposes, you use Memory Deluge normally because this gives you good selection. You have good cards on top, so you don't need selection, you just need to draw it. So you go like this, and then you cast Memory Deluge. This way you get the best of both worlds. I will still take the, the land and the reverie because they slow the game down, even though we don't really need it. Jace number one, please. <laughs> and this is why, guys, you always have Jace in control decks, because this is the only way that you can finish the game uh, basically in one turn with no way to counteract it. Even if he had opened any kind of instant, it doesn't do anything, because they cannot react. They can react before Jace is in the battlefield and after it's already sacrificed, so you know. Oh, I ranked up, nice. I think this was a worthy game. Alright, opponent goes first and our hand is garbage. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> better, thank you. Uh, see ya, not on this game. Alright, this is a little bit better. Okay, uh, you want to, you know, show the... So generally you want to show a land that, uh, you know, can look like the... Moment, my brain is here. Let's, let's take the land while we can. We have a lot of work to do. This seems to be a cave deck. And they will have a lot of, uh, you know, 
instant speed creatures basically uh, like you know those guys that turn into into a creature and they will try to kill us with it I kind of expect what the deck could have so on next turn they could make this five mana choose three stuff uh, this is extremely good draw they generally do not have too much interaction I think Jace could be good I think Jace could be good I think we want this extra card and I hope I can remind myself. Uh, yeah, I will keep meeting him. I think he might have something from the graveyard. Oh, here it is. Yeah, exactly. Those are the cards. I didn't expect this one. So this is how he wins. So one mana, five, five, lifelink. Sure. We definitely do not attack in case he plays something weird that I have no idea about. All right, so on the lands that I started, uh, basically you want to play the land that suggests the most different archetype to what you are playing really, because that will throw your opponent off guard as much as possible. What are you? Tapped, discover for, all right, this is one of those. So I, I think I had a moment, I could uh, draw cards with forever, but we don't need to do it right now. And we should be able to outvalue them. And on the next turn they can play this. Farewell is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. This is two cards in one. It also makes our deck draw a little bit better. But we cannot play Memory Delush. And I want to. So we will play this one. This one is just better. Mirex is definitely a land that can work. We are kind of wasting half of the memory Rush, I guess. Because we know the... Well, we still get extra cards, basically. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, that gives us a lot of briefing room right now. I could exile something and get rid of this. Man, I don't think it's super scary, to be honest. I really don't think so. We could start stacking the Jace. I think we should have enough value. I will just keep plusing so I can mill him faster. Because closing the game faster is more important than some extra value right now. And it deals X damage to everything, including the planeswalkers, right? Oh, it's a sad day, but it's fine. We, it still oh, is okay because we force this play. Well, this is annoying. Okay, the, the tortoise is, is very, very harsh for us. And let's first give him the decision. Alright, and he will start sacrificing those, right? Oh, here it is. Here it is. And I kind of want to do some arch for this. That's super annoying. So this can be a 3-3 at the instant speed. I think we need more value, man. Like, I want to answer all of his cards. Negate is amazing, and March is very, very good. Do I exile both of them? It's not a play a Jedi would make, but I will. Because I'm so far ahead, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. If he had Exile effect, uh, I would play very, very differently. So I have March. I think I take one hit and play the Rouge. And then play a land, play the Rouge and March. Because I think he's out of value right now. Oh, that's so cute. Three damage. <laughs> so we cannot kill it. And he's attacking into full open mana, so that's probably not a good sign for our opponent. And negate will be extremely important. This card, man, is huge. He will probably start sacrificing and discovering stuff. Let's see. Tear asunder. Do you want to tear asunder something? Not really. Correct. And this is the big turn. I honestly kind of like no more lies still. So I think we go emperor and no more lies. Because he will be short on mana all the time. Like, his lands make sure that he's never, you know, flooded. And I don't mind the second row. Those are good cards, man. 
And I think this is the moment when we st maybe start start Miraxing or something. I want to be aggressive. He thinks he can kill us with this. Uh, well, he won't. You tap it first, of course. Let's go March. That's why having March was so important. It also exiles it, so he won't get it back. He needs to hit another one. And he, right now he, ha he doesn't have it. And now we can start no more lying. Or whatever. <laughs> sure. Oh, go for the frog. <laughs> well, you can see that the value is of the chart. So I think this is the moment for Emperor. Why? Because he stopped. <laughs> so he has the answer, but I will get the full value and he still needs to pay for mana and use the card. That will show him so down. Like he's getting severely outvalued because our deck is just higher value by far. All right, guys, time to talk about the deck a little bit more. We also never saw the sideboard, I actually noticed. And the sideboard is tricky. You have seen it one, in one of the games for, of course, Invasion of Archavios, but it's it's really tricky. I really liked it. Uh, Lay Down Arms, I think, is a sneaky thing that sometimes, for example, you need to remove Shorted, but you have six mana. You can play Invasion of Archavios. Uh, lay down arms, kill Shelly, exile it, and still have Invasion of Archavios in the board for like Uncourages, Farmhands, uh, Emperor Tokens, so you still get some nice value there. And we, we have basically everything. You have seen that Twilight is a great win con when the game goes to a star, especially against non-control decks. They cannot really answer this card. It does. So you invest in Invasion of Archavios, right? you are probably a bit more behind on this turn. Then your opponent will go wider, and then the only way to go about it is to play a sweeper. But if you take a sweeper, you don't really gain anything on top of it. With uh, White March, you get everything. Your opponent cannot really... like. This was the, the game that we have seen uh, in today's video, right? I force him, you need to kill me, because on the next turn, you have no board, I have life gain, and I'm the attacker. And this is what happened, and they scooped. So I think this is a pretty nice choice. We still have some for for some you know creatures that need to be exiled. There are some decks where you really want to exile creatures. However, we still don't need it most of the time. Here you go, in your two mana slot that you deserve. Uh, we play more for words than usually because uh, we don't have exile effects in the sweeper. Uh, we have March and Farewell, and that should be enough. Uh, to be honest, I really enjoyed this deck. I think that thanks to the fact that we kind of prey on this Reverie Synergy with Vanquish the Horde, those are eight cards that it's not a lot of slots for a control deck against aggro. You usually devote way more. And this shuts down aggro so hard, man. This also allows you to play foreverist, which is really nice. We skimp a little bit on the counter spells. We are on the low side. Uh, probably Union could be dissipate if you are scared about, you know, control matchups. But I think this fits perfectly to the team of deck, right? Because your opponent needs to go white. Man, I also played aggro decks, and when a control player plays Union, and you expected a counter spell, and you lowballed your damage, because, oh, you don't want your Godric or whatever 3-drop you are playing, or Braids, uh, countered. And then your opponent is like, ha ha, it was, it was a live game, now you need to try harder, and you kind of wasted the full turn. So that's huge card, and it really works into this mindset of forcing your opponent into going super wide, and then you vanquish the horde, and you know most of the decks don't play this card so first vanquish the horde that you play every game will be insanely powerful the next ones will be expected but the first one is is getting them by surprise every single time so the more you stall uh, they just go wider and they don't think this will be the punish for this so i really enjoyed this deck i'll be honest uh, we played three games only but we won all of them so i mean this is a 100 percent win rate deck and to be fair i I'm not super surprised. It has a very good matchup against aggro with farmhands, reverers, unions, and so such a great sweeper, including farewell, so you can get those uh, clues, enchantments, all this kind of stuff. Like the deck does everything, and if you don't get the card, you can still use the march to get rid of the gleeful demolition target, right? So you know, in any case, you are just performing nicely. With an invasion of archavios, you also have some access to potentially counter spells. Uh, I have two types because sometimes this one mana makes a huge difference especially that if you take it you know just just in case 
every turn you need to hold one mana less. So negate actually makes a huge difference, especially on the colored cost as well. So yeah, I really enjoyed this deck. I think it's solid. Uh, I think you will probably hit Mythic with it if you play enough. Uh, yeah, it's fun. And you know, it's still... I play Sweeper and then I kill you with Jace, but I'll tell you, man, this deck feels different. If you are bored with, you know, the classic Sunfall control, I think this one will work for you because it, it feels different and you have different strategy goals. You want your opponent to go as wide as possible. You try to force him into this play. You, have, you want to keep your creatures alive so they discount the Vanquish the Horde and you can make plays that aren't possible with the other decks. If you have like six, seven mana, you can make Vanquish the Horde into Emperor. That closes most of the games. Uh, with normal control you cannot do this play. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. I'm pretty proud of this one, so hopefully it will work for you. Thank you for watching, especially until then, because I rambled a lot, a lot but I was excited for the deck, and I hope I got you excited a little bit as well. So guys, thank you as always for all your <laughs> continuous support. And I think we cut here because I can talk half hour about this deck longer. So let's cut it while, while we can. Have fun guys and see you tomorrow.